Hello, beautiful women. This is a really exciting topic for me today because it's helped me so much in my dealings with the opposite sex. Most of what I'm going to teach you today comes from Alison Armstrong. She has written many books and I've read, read all of them and I've done an online course with her as well. The fact that men and women are uh, the opposite sex. We are the opposite sex. I wanted to, to tell you the definition of opposite from Google. Diametrically different of a contrary kind, a person or thing that is totally different from or the reverse of someone or something. It means conflicting, contrasting, incompatible, irreconcilable, inconsistent, antithetical, converse, contradictory. Rick. So we need to learn how to communicate with men the way that they communicate, not the way that women communicate. That our nature is to communicate a certain way as women and a man's nature is to communicate a certain way as a man. And when women try to communicate with a man, man like they're communicating with a woman, it's completely opposite so it doesn't go well. When a man speaks, listen to learn. Do not listen to talk. Listen to learn about him. A woman speaks, our nature is to listen to talk. When I start speaking, I want my girlfriend to speak me or back and forth and have like this kind of talk that makes me feel like she understands me. But when you do that to a man, when you interrupt him, you take him off his focus. Men are single focus and women are diffuse awareness, meaning we can talk on the phone, paint our nails, feed the baby, cook dinner all at the same time. Men are single focus. They focus on a task and they finish it. Therefore, when they are talking, that is something they are focusing on. And when we interrupt them to, to let them know that we, we get them like we do when we talk to women, it takes them off their focus, it doesn't work. Think about a time when you were completely focused on something. For me, it's numbers. I'm not good at numbers. So when I have to focus on numbers, I'm thinking get in my way because I have to figure it out because I have to put all my focus on it. And how hard that is to be in that zone is how men are all the time. That's the way their brains are made. They focus on one thing at a time, completely 100%, but that's the way they're built. We're built with an awareness that's diffused, meaning that it can it can focus on many things at once. That's our nature. Their nature is focus, get one thing done, focus, get the next thing done. So in conversation, when they're focusing and they're speaking to us, if we interrupt them and say, oh yeah, yeah, I know, I did that, that happened to me too. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe this happened to me yesterday. God, we're so, and that would bond us to a woman by doing that. Not a man, he's focused like I am when I'm working on numbers. I'm focused on the numbers, and if somebody comes and talks to me about something else besides those numbers I'm focused on, it will just completely throw me off and frustrate the hell out of me. And that's what we do when we interrupt men and try to speak to them the way we speak to women. Number two for me is when they're done speaking, if we can just go against our nature and count to 30 in our head, we will be amazed what will come out of these men because all of their emotions, all the good stuff, all of the deep stuff that they have inside of them is buried very deep down. Men are not encouraged, even as little boys, to get into their feelings and to speak about their feelings. They don't, they don't know how to speak about them because nobody taught them how to speak about them because it's not encouraged to speak about their feelings. Men don't speak to other men about their feelings. So when are they going to learn how to speak about feelings? So all of their feelings are deep inside a well inside of them. So you must, after they're done speaking, count to 30 and wait for that well to open up. And when you do, you will be so glad you did because that is where all the good stuff is. If you can wait till they're done speaking and count to 30 before you speak, 
you'll be surprised. But what's deep in there, if you give them time to access it, it's such good stuff and it's so deep and it's usually so loving and so, um, it's usually things that relate to us and their feelings about us. And that's what we want so desperately to hear, but we never give them a chance because they're so deep inside of them. And we're always interrupting because that's our nature. That's how we speak to each other. And it's, it's the whole system's flawed. I don't know why we're like this, but we are. Our nature and their nature is opposite. So when they aren't speaking to us, they're not ignoring us. To us, They're focused on producing a result. And the result is usually for us. Men are so wonderful. All they're doing 24 seven is thinking about how to produce results for us. I know it's very difficult to believe. We think they're ignoring us. We think they don't talk to us. They don't tell us anything, but that's not true. They're focused. Even when you go to dinner with your husband in the car, you want him to say how beautiful you look. And he doesn't because that's how women would talk to each other. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, I love your dress. Oh, I love your makeup. Oh, you look so adorable. They're focused on producing a result. You know what the result is? Getting you safely to the restaurant, getting the table, getting the parking, getting you out of the car, into the car safely, getting the right food, the right drink for you. That's what they're thinking about when they're taking you out to dinner. That's why they're not talking to you like a woman would about your hair and your makeup and how you look beautiful. Once he gets in the restaurant and he transitions, then he'll look over and tell us that we're beautiful. If we can listen to learn when they speak and we can count to 30 when they're done speaking and wait for the well. And when, if we can know that when they're not speaking, it's because they're trying to produce a result for us, we'll be so far ahead of the game. So these are just a few little tiny tips from Alison Armstrong, but she has so many tips. She's been studying men for 30 years and she's amazing. Everything that I've learned from her has helped me exponentially in my relationships. I wish I'd have learned it a long time ago. Hopefully it helped you and that your relationships improve because of it and that you check her work out and you can see even more ways to communicate with the opposite sex. Thanks so much for watching.